Stampers, game again. Oops. <laughs> um, I've been making little gift card holders because and money holders and lottery ticket holders. Because my mother-in-law gives money at Christmas, and um, so I've been making of these. She always gives the grandkids money. Um, they don't just hold money; they'll be old uh, a game card, you know, gift card. You can get a gift card in that one. I've got money in this one. Um, you know, I'm just an example. It won't go, it'll go in that way as well. Um, and this one, I've got lottery tickets. You know, you they fit everything. So I'm gonna have to take my money out of there before I forget. <laughs> I'm a lottery ticket. I'm a game card. So this is a cheeky little Halloween one. If you give. You know, kids' money at Halloween if you wanted to drop a couple of pounds in there. Please go into my mother in law because she loves to give, like I say, money or gift cards. So these are going to her. And she needs one, two, three, four, five. She needs one more because she has four, well, she has four grandkids. Sorry, she has five grandkids and two great grandkids. So, uh, I'm going to, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to make her two more, actually. So, I'll show you how to make it. Uh, these are my bits. <laughs> I'll pop them. I'll keep the card out because I'll show you that going in as well. But you need this piece of uh, six by six designer series paper, no matter what. Um, obviously, we're going to have to keep the pattern. I've cut this off. You need to trim off three quarters of an inch. Or five and a quarter by six and that's what you're left with but that's your belly band so don't get rid of that so take your trimmer short side five and a quarter and score both ends at three quarters of an inch then turn to the long side and pop it in at one and a quarter and then three and three quarters and that's it. You can see all your lines. Now we're going to take all four corners off. And instead of going up, cut at an angle because we're going to just save you cutting up and then at an angle. So cut at an angle and cut straight up. It just saves you cutting twice. That's all. So you get that sort of thing. This is going to be the quickest project you will ever make and you can throw them out to a penny. Perfect little gift, uh, craft fair ideas as well, if anyone does little craft fairs. Uh, money holders, gift card holders, lottery ticket holders, you know, anything. So there's your four pieces. That's all you've cut off. Now, they don't sell these anymore, but I've got one, so it's my little corner rounder. So I'm just going to neaten off. You could use your envelope punch board, or if you've got one of these, use this. Just to make the little edges nice and neat. And we're done virtually. This this is the main bit over with. So now we're going to burnish our score lines. Just ever so. Oh, and then I'm going to take a one and a half inch circle punch. And you're just going to pop this in, keeping it pretty level either side. Take about that much out so you can see what you're giving inside. And because this is a gift card holder, I want it to stay together. And I'm just using a little bit of fast fuse on both the ends. And it's done. Literally, it's done. How quick and simple is that? With your belly band now, you can either turn it the opposite way, or you can keep it this way. It's a bit long. Squeeze it round. Not too tight, because you want to be able to slip it on and off. And add some more skews. And 
And there we go, it's done. Oops. A little bit tight. My belly band is, there you go. And it comes off. And then close your gift card. Close it back up. We're going to decorate this one a little bit. So I've got, out of my trimmy stockings, it's this little tiny star and it, it cuts like a stitched feet edge as well and then a little label to cut out. So give me two seconds and I'm going to grab a scrap piece of white paper. I'm going to trim this out. I could use gold foil as well if you wanted it, but uh, I'll be back now, two seconds. Do the two pieces at the same time, it saves you running it through the big shop. I've used a bit of Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Paper for a little di the star shape. If you look carefully, you can see it better on the back. It puts a little stitched imprint around the diamond as well. It's, it, the star, I think it's so cute. And then out of the Woodward's um, stamp set, a little stamp saying for you. And then you just... I'll turn it back to front again. <laughs> turn it over. Look at my little dimensionals, they get everywhere. There we go, for you. I'm just going to take a couple of glue dots now. And I'm just going to pop it just there. And I'm going to pop it here. Along that uh, join line where we join them up, but uh, you can take your time with these, you can literally do what I'm doing, and then I'm going to take that and cover that little hole there, oops, for you, and a nice little rhinestone to pop right there in the corner, and we're done. How quick was that? You can easily uh, pop these out as fast as you want. Go easy when you're scoring though, don't press too hard. Um, but that's then done. So that's done with the Year to Cheer paper. This is done with the Quilted Christmas Foil Frenzy. Uh, the Halloween paper, I can't think what it's called right now. But this is Christmas Around the World and Merry Little Christmas. And there you have it. These are my mother-in-laws. I'm obviously not going to give her the Halloween one. But I was just showing you different varieties of paper. But I hope you like them. Thumbs up. Um, a share and a subscribe. Don't forget to press the little bell as well. And you will get notified every time I upload a video. And I wouldn't want you to miss out on them. So I'm sorry it's a quick one. Uh, but it literally is a, the quickest project you could make. If you wanted to pop them, these would fit lovely inside your envelope with a nice card to match as well. So thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.